planning on visiting the beautiful island of Anagata, British Island? An island full of nature and fun in the sun, and with plenty to do, despite its small size. Here is everything you need to know, before you go to Anagata, British Island. But before we dive into this useful information that will save you time on your next travel, we ask you to subscribe to this channel. Please subscribe. Tell us your traveling experiences in this, or any other country you have visited on the comments space below the video. And don't forget to hit the bell icon, so you can be alerted when new content is available. Subscribing, does not cost you a thing and by doing so, it will give us the opportunity to produce, more of the best educational vacation destination content, you can find anywhere. We also know, that planning for your next adventure, is not an easy task. That's why we take this opportunity to invite you to browse our video explanation area, where you will find links to amazing traveling related merchandise in our Amazon store. Here you will find merchandise that will complement the travel experience, we are about to learn about on our video. You will find links to clothing, electronics, luggage, just everything you will need that will make things more comfortable for your next adventure. And of course, you can shop worry-free with Amazon's guarantee and peace of mind that is known for around the world. We thank you for your support. So, here we go. The first European sighting of the Virgin Islands was by Christopher Columbus in 1493 on his second voyage to the Americas. Columbus gave them the name. Santa Ursula y las once male virgenes. Saint Ursula and her 11,000 virgins, and then shortened to, las virgenes, the virgins, after the legend of Saint Ursula. The Spanish claimed the islands by original discovery, but never settled the territory. Anagata was discovered by Columbus on his voyage through the Caribbean in It was a difficult to see island for the sailors, due to the fact that the island was totally flat. The Anagata Passage, a principal route between the Virgin Islands and the Leeward Islands into the Atlantic, is a treacherous channel lined with hidden reefs which has snared many vessels over the years. Anagadians claim that Queen Victoria bequeathed all Anagata land to the residents of Anagata in the 19th century. This claim was tacitly recognized by the British Crown with the issuing of an ordinance in 1885, granting land to those who would have their property boundaries surveyed and registered. For one reason or another, no Anagadian ever followed through with this program, and land ownership on the island remained an unsettled issue until 1961 when a new ordinance defined the residential area known as the settlement, and identified other land to be used for communal animal grazing and agricultural cultivation. These lands accounted for 1,500 of Anagata's 9,500 total acres. The remaining 8,000 acres were to be held in trust for Anagadians, and could be leased but not sold. Anagata is the most northerly of the group of islands that form the archipelago of the British Virgin Islands. Its unique formation comes from the accumulation of coral and limestone, rather than volcanic ashes. While the other islands are mountainous, Anagata is flat and its highest point is approximately 28 feet above sea level, earning it the name Drowned Land. Anagata is a 15 square miles island, which makes it the second largest island in the chain after Tortola, with the most sparsely populated of the main islands. Created by seismic activity to the northeast of the island where the Caribbean and Atlantic tectonic plates meet. Anagata Passage, a channel in the West Indies, connects the Atlantic Ocean with the Caribbean Sea. It's 40 miles wide and separates the British Virgin Islands from the west from the Leeward Islands to the southeast. It has the greatest depth, more than 7,550 feet, more than any channel in the Eastern Caribbean. <laughs> 
Anagata, part of the British Virgin Islands is part of the Atlantic Standard Time, or better known as the AST. No daylight saving time is needed, due to how close it is to the equator. It is located GMT-4. The climate in British Virgin Islands is hot, depressive, windy, and partly cloudy. Over the course of the year, the temperature typically varies from 74 degrees Fahrenheit to 89 degrees Fahrenheit and is rarely below 72 degrees Fahrenheit or above 92 degrees Fahrenheit. The best time of year to visit British Virgin Islands for hot weather activities is from early December to mid-April. Hot, raw and untamed nature fun is what Anagata is all about. Pack lightweight sweaters and jackets, the evenings can be cool. For evenings take something casual, easy breezy dresses, shirts and shorts, are great for going out to restaurants. Sleepwear, keep it lightweight. Bring two pairs of shoes and flip-flops, sandals or slides, plus one pair of closed-toe shoes, like trainers or boat-slash-deck shoes. Sunblocks are always a must-have in all Virgin Islands. All persons, including U.S. citizens, require a passport when entering the British Virgin Islands. Very important to make sure that your passport is valid for another six months upon entering the territory. Visitors from some other countries, may also require a visa for entry. For a list of countries that require a visa for entering the British Islands visit, www.bvi.org.uk, Visas. For more information on this topic visit, www.bvi.org.uk. At the time we uploaded this video, travelers are no longer required to be screened upon arrival for the COVID-19 virus. Travelers are urged to take appropriate precautions to prevent the infection of the virus where necessary, such as general sanitization and hand washing measures. The wearing of face masks are no longer mandated by law, but are allowed as a matter of choice in public spaces, or as a policy of a business place or other establishment. Please visit the link provided on screen for more up-to-date information regarding COVID-19 regulations. The British Virgin Islands adopted the US dollar as its currency in 1959 and have made no commitments to replace it as the official currency in any form. Much like neighboring USVI, the British Virgin Islands employ the US dollar as their official currency. This connection makes travel between the two island groups especially seamless, and gives the BVI, its reputation as a well-established tax haven. So no worries United States citizens, no currency exchange is needed. The British Virgin Islands consist of the main islands of Tortola, Virgin Gorda, Anagata, and Yost Van Dyke, along with more than 50 other smaller islands and keys. The British Virgin Islands, officially the Virgin Islands are an internally self-governing or seized territory of the United Kingdom. The United Nations Committee on Decolonization includes the islands on the United Nations list of non-self-governing territories. Politics of the British Virgin Islands takes place in a framework of a parliamentary representative democratic dependency, whereby the Premier is the head of government, and of a multi-party system. The British Virgin Islands are an internally self-governing overseas territory of the United Kingdom. On the British Virgin Islands the power plugs and sockets are of type A and B. The standard voltage is 110 volts and the standard frequency is 60 Hz. 
When living in the United States of America you don't need a power plug adapter on the British Virgin Islands. Your appliances with plug A and plug B will work perfectly. But as a precaution, we recommend you to pack a 3 to 2 prong adapter in case type B sockets are not available. The British Virgin Islands culture is reflected in its many art forms, including such indigenous music as fungi, a form of scratch band music. But music here also encompasses Caribbean imports such as steel band music, whose melodic sounds originated in Trinidad. The islands have a population of about 27,800, and according to a 2010 census, only 250 residents live in Anagata. British Virgin Islanders are classed as British Overseas Territory citizens and since 2002 have had full British citizenship. Despite the colony's small size, British Virgin Islanders have a fairly high standard of living for the Caribbean region. Their economy is based largely on tourism. Despite the handicaps of difficult terrain and uncertain water supply, agriculture and stock raising, largely for export to the U.S. Virgin Islands are undertaken. Farms are usually small holdings worked by owner-occupiers, many of whom are also part-time fishermen. The chief crops are fruits, vegetables, and coconuts for both domestic use and export. Sugarcane is grown for the distillation of rum. The tourist industry makes up almost half of the national economy. The number of tourists visiting the islands, attracted by opportunities for sport fishing and sailing, has continued to increase. English is the official language, far more frequently used in practice, however, is an English-based Creole, Virgin Islands Creole English. The island habitants are mainly Christian, including Methodist, 45%, Anglican, 21%, and Roman Catholic, 6%. For most people, one day in Anagata is part of a larger British Virgin Islands itinerary, sailing through the chain that includes Anagata's more famous neighbors like Virgin Gorda and Joost van Dijk. Anagata is the most northerly of the British Virgin Islands, set a fair distance away from the rest of its sister islands, which also makes it one of the less trafficked of the bunch. It's the second largest of the BVIs at 15 square miles, but with only 250 inhabitants it's also one of the least populated. On an average, you should plan to spend solo around $297 per day on your vacation in British Virgin Islands, which is the average daily price based on the expenses of other visitors. Past travelers have spent, on average, $46 on meals for one day and $28 on local transportation. Anagata British Virgin Island is such an amazing vacation destination. That is only natural that is packed with a ton of great vacation Airbnbs rentals that offer a unique stay, with comfortable amenities and amazing nearby attractions. Visit www.airbnb.com for more information. The settlement is the only town of Anagata. The economy of Anagata is based on rich tourism and fishing. Anagata is home to the largest barrier coral reef in the Caribbean. Horseshoe Reef measures a length of 29 kilometers. White sand beaches, very famous Anagata Christmas tree and rich population of bonefish are other notable facts of Anagata. Claudia Creek Educational Center is the only school in Anagata providing pre-primary, primary, and secondary level education for the native children. Are you asking yourself how do you get to Anagata? Anagata hosts an airport named Auguste George Airport, which receives charter flights from San Juan, St. Thomas, Antigua, 
and St. Martin, served by Island Birds and Fly BVI. Tourists can also reach Anagata through Beef Island Airport in Road Town, and then take ferry service to Anagata in morning and afternoon hours of Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Private boats are also available. If staying at the Anagata Reef Hotel, or one of the villas on the island, you can inquire about having a rental car available for you at the airport. A taxi across the island, say between a remote beach and the settlement, can be arranged at most restaurants or hotels. There are no public buses or dollar buses found on Anagata. Rideshare companies like Uber and Lyft do not operate in the Virgin Islands. Anagata has a small road system. You will probably need a small car or a jeep to get around. Like all other British Virgin Islands in Anagata you drive on left, and must obtain temporary BVI license from car rental agency. This temporary license has a $10 fee. Crime levels in the British Virgin Islands are relatively low, although serious incidents do occur, including armed robbery, and drug-related gun crime. Just use common sense, stay in well-lit streets, not dark alleys or bushy areas, be alert to what's all around you. Anagata's cuisine is some of the best in the world. You get fresh lobster straight from the ocean, just caught seafood, fresh food from the garden, and all sorts of other options to choose from. First with the fresh, natural flavor, found everywhere in the island. Here we present to you, some of the best places to eat while staying at, Anagata British Virgin Islands. But first, we let you know that, no before you go channel, is not endorsing, or being endorsed by any of the restaurants mentioned here. And that the order they are mentioned is not representative of their quality. Anagata Beach Club Anagata Beach Club offers a toes in the sand dining in paradise experience. We serve fresh lobster, conked and seafood with a Caribbean flair. Plus, delicious lunches, pizza, burgers, tacos and more. Enjoy poolside dining under our palapas, or relax in a hammock with a tropical drink. Anagata Beach Club is located at, The Settlement, Anagata, British Virgin Islands. Their phone number is, 284-346-4066. You can visit their website at, www.anagatabeachclub.com. The Wonky Dog Restaurant and Bar the Wonky Dog is built around the old Anagata lobster traps, which were deemed wonky by the fishermen. This friendly open-air restaurant serves fresh seafood and famous Anagata spiny lobster, homemade pizza, pasta, and subs. This restaurant has become one of the island's most popular stops. The Wonky Dog, bar and restaurant is located at, The Settlement, Anagata British Virgin Islands. You can call at 284-441-0539 Or you can visit their website at www.thewonkydog.com Cow Rec Beach Bar This family-run restaurant serves up some of the best con fritters in the Caribbean. The relaxed vibe and plastic chairs make for an unusual place for a romantic dinner. But just add a sunset and a perfectly prepared lobster, and Cow Rec becomes the romantic setting for any BVI beach date. Cow Rec Beach Bar is the most beautiful and remote destination in the British Virgin Islands. A favorite among yachties anchoring at Anagata. Diners relax on a terrace where tables and plastic chairs feature a view of the water just steps away. If you go during lunch, you can snorkel in the clear seas until your food is ready. Fans claim Cow Rec serves the best lobster in the BVI, but it also offers tasty grilled steaks, ribs, chicken and local grilled fish. Cow Rec Beach Bar is located at, Lower Cow Rec Beach, VG1140, British Virgin Islands. Their phone number is, 284-495-8047. 
You can visit their social media page at www.facebook.com forward slash cowrec.beach. As you can see, Anagata might be small in options, but it has a great fresh gastronomic menu to offer. There are plenty more choices of great food places here in Anagata that will satisfy your taste and cravings. Anagata part of the British Virgin Islands, is a unique place with its own charm. It's one of the few places in the world where you can find pink sand beaches and clear blue waters. There are plenty of things to do on this island, whether you're looking for a relaxing vacation, national park or an adventure outside of the United States, Anagata is the perfect place for you. Follow us to see, what to do at Anagata, British Virgin Islands. Anagata Beach Club Set by an Anagata beach on the Caribbean Sea, this laid-back hotel with thatched cottages, is 13 minutes walk from the snorkeling area of Keel Point, and 7 kilometers from Captain Auguste George Airport. The hotel has a restaurant-slash-bar with a thatched roof, as well as an outdoor pool and a beach volleyball court. The Anagata Beach Club is the perfect place to spend a day in the sun. With its white sand beaches and crystal clear waters, it's easy to see why this beach club is one of the most popular destinations on the island. The beach club offers a variety of activities, including swimming, snorkeling, and windsurfing. Recapping there is no entry fee to Anagata Beach Club. The most likely experiences you will be doing are beach type activities. You would likely spend half to a full day basking in the sun. Please visit www.bvi.gov.vg for more information. Flamingo Pond the Anagata salt ponds and limestone keys contain endemic species of flora and fauna, and are also an important site for migratory birds including the roseate, or greater flamingo. Traditionally the salt ponds were curry mole fisheries, and salt production sites. With its ponds, Anagata is a natural habitat for flamingos, the saline ponds and marshes are home to the larva, crustaceans, and small mollusks that comprise the flamingo's diet. Recapping There is no entry fee to experience Flamingo Pond. The most likely activity you will be experiencing will be, learning about this flamingo habitat, and admiring the ecosystem. You could be spending a few hours to half a day admiring this raw ecosystem. Please visit www.bvi.gov.bg for more information. Horseshoe Reef Horseshoe Reef is a submerged coral reef located in the British Virgin Islands. Home to a diverse array of marine life, including colorful coral, schools of tropical fish, and sea turtles. You can rent snorkel gear and explore the reef on your own, or go on a guided snorkeling tour to learn more about the local marine life. If you decide to do some diving, the clear waters and diverse marine life of Horseshoe Reef make it a popular diving destination. You can go on a guided dive tour to explore the reef and see the colorful coral and fish up close. If you decide to stay on dry land, the white sandy beaches around Horseshoe Reef are perfect for soaking up the sun and relaxing. Want to eat some fresh seafood? The waters around Horseshoe Reef are home to a variety of fish, making it a popular spot for sport fishing. You can rent a boat and go fishing on your own, or go on a guided fishing tour. If you don't feel experienced enough to get in the water on your own when it comes to explore the area, you can go on a boat tour of the reef. These tours often include stops for snorkeling and other activities. 
Recapping There is no entry fee to visit Horseshoe Reef, but services and rentals might require a small fee. The most likely experience you will be having are beach type activities. You can spend half a day to a full day, enjoying the wonders this part of the island has to offer. Please visit www.bvi.gov.vg for more information. Bone Fishing Anagata is known for its bone fishing, which is a popular sport in the Caribbean. Bone fish are found in shallow, flats, and backcountry waters, and Anagata has an abundance of both types of habitat. The flats around the island are particularly good for bone fishing, as the water is clear, and the fish are often easy to spot. It is worth noting that bone fishing is a catch and release sport, so you'll need to be prepared to release any fish you catch back into the water. This helps to ensure the sustainability of the bonefish population, and allows others to enjoy the sport as well. There are several guide services available on the island that can take you bone fishing, and they can provide you with the necessary equipment and instructions. Many visitors to Anagata enjoy bone fishing as a relaxing, and enjoyable way to spend their time on the island. Recapping There is no entry fee to enter ponds or beaches to experience bone fishing. But a small fee is required, if you decide to join a tour, or rent equipment. The most likely experience you will be performing will be fishing, or beach-type activities. You can spend half a day to a full day, catching and releasing fishes. You can visit www.bvi.gov.bg for more information. As you can see, Anagata is a great destination for those who enjoy relaxing on the beach, swimming, snorkeling, and exploring the island's natural beauty. There are plenty more activities available for visitors to enjoy, including touring the island by bike or golf cart, visiting the Anagata Reef National Park, and visiting the salt ponds. Overall, Anagata is a great destination for those looking to relax and enjoy some of the best beaches in the Caribbean without the hassle of crowds of tourists. As we have learned from this presentation, Anagata is known for its secluded beaches, coral reefs, and lobster fishing. The island is relatively undeveloped, making it a peaceful and serene destination for those seeking a break from the hustle and bustle of modern life. Anagata can be a great vacation destination for those who enjoy a laid-back, relaxing atmosphere, and are interested in nature and outdoor activities. That being said, it's worth noting that Anagata is a relatively small and isolated island, and there are not many organized activities or tourist attractions. If you're looking for a more active or culturally rich vacation destination, Anagata may not be the best choice. But, if you like untamed nature, raw exploration activities, away from the everyday hustle, then, Anagata Island is the perfect tropical paradise island, just for you. That's all for this magnificent presentation, thanks for watching. Here are some other video suggestions that you might like to see. Don't forget to subscribe and comment your experiences here with us. Also visit our links in the video description area, for awesome products related to this trip. Again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.